Hello everybody and welcome back. We are here with Samantha Kane. As you may recall, she is the heppest, dinchiest cat to ever lead the Minutemen. So, we are here today at Sunshine Tidings Co-op, as you can see. And uh, I just kind of wanted to share with you a build that I'm doing. Uh, this place is huge. As many of you Fallout 4 players may know, this place is a huge build area. And it is kind of difficult to... Well, it's kind of difficult to build here because there's just so much space. But a plan that I have is to make a bunch of small settlements here and sort of kind of connect them together. But in the meantime, I'm going to uh, share with you uh, what I've done here with a couple of builds so far. So as you can see, these are some junk wall packs um, using, see these are from USO, uh, but I also did add some additional texture to them to break up the, the sameness about them. I like how it worked. I also added some from um, uh, CDC Dead Wasteland and the Kiro tab and just adding USO and Kiro tab on top of Kiro tab and Wasteland decoration pack junk walls and just everything like that to just make this look a lot more interesting and viable. So. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this guard station and his home, his shack. Right here we've got this awning that uh, provides him some shade on his time off, but also protects protects him from the rain. And, uh, you know, we've got ourselves a bit of a tired little plank here and uh, a good old sturdy post. And as you all have probably noticed, you know, I still have these chain link fences up. It's just an additional defense. I mean, yeah, there's a huge gaping hole right there, but it still does offer some defense. And, uh, you know, a little, little emblem painted on showing this is a Minutemen outpost. And uh, got ourselves some nice little walls there. Uh, basically to protect you when you're standing up there some additional walls here and this one uh, I didn't build this one this came from the uh, workshop decorations pack junk wall um, mod as did this one and I love them because they just make a lot of sense and uh, you know and of course as you can see there's this bush in the way and that'll kind of keep some people out not me though I'm the hero but, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's this huge gaping hole and all of this stuff, but I'm not done building this place up. I just want to share with you guys this one build. And hello, Codsworth. Thank you for staying. Oh, nice little curtsy. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, and, uh, you know, this wall goes all the way down, and there's going to be more built here. But for now, here is the guard's home and his shack, which we will go up there and I will share with you all. Uh, this wall is from the Kiro tab. I just, I like the design. But we've got, uh, yeah, no, I guess I should have the light on. We've got uh, a number of, uh, you know, there's a post, there's some posts here for keeping this thing raised above ground, but some additional uh, foundation for stability. And I think he does use this for some of his uh, some of his stuff that is okay with sitting in a in a metal bin. I'm not sure, but uh, you know we've got uh, some fence posts, and that post has additional use for holding in this fridge, which we will be seeing soon. But uh, the fences are also holding the fridge above ground for a reason, which I will share with you momentarily. Let's just stand up. Turn off the light. And this here 
is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I, I, I build and then I forget that I want to do it. And so I've, I finally did it. And uh, hello, Heather. And I got this idea. Well, I didn't get I saw this beautiful idea from Sardeliac, one of his builds a long time ago. And I thought it was great. And, uh, you know, I added in some stairs so that uh, you can you can walk on it. And the settlers do path. And so do the... the... It is pathable. They're able to walk up these stairs and these and uh, enter into here. Now, for now, you know, we've got... Uh, Got ourselves some light in here, and yep, my light is off. Well, now it is. But uh, this is his. This is his home. He's got himself a little resting area, and he listens to the radio, Diamond City Radio. But he's also got some holo tapes that he can listen to, and looks like he's got himself yes, a little rum and Nuka Cola, waiting for him with this uh, little drinking vessel there, and it's got another one there. And uh, interestingly, this coffee pot is not for making coffee. Uh, he uses this to heat up water so that uh, he has hot water for washing himself, bathing. Yeah, it's not a lot of bathing, it's just kind of a quick little thing to fill up this bucket so that uh, he can shave, uh, wash his face, things like that. Um, a gentleman's bath, so to speak, um, you know, armpits, crotch area, things like that, just to kind of keep things from mm, growing. Uh, a little photo he found of old Boston that he really liked. He's got his clothes in here and uh, other personal items. And apparently he didn't have time to put uh, some sheets on his bed, but, you know, he's got, uh, he's got a towel to wash his face. And, and of course, there's a mirror there for him to see pretty well what he's doing. Got a little poster there that, uh, well, you know, Samantha here approves of. And, um, hmm, yeah, that's, uh, so let's see, what are these magazines? Millsurp Review. These were added in with the uh, Wasteland, damn, one of these days I'm going to remember that mod, but anyway. Um, and then uh, Poetry Night from the Atom Cats. That's actually a, uh, a flyer and uh, a bit of a magazine. So let's see. No Gunners, every second Tuesday, no cover charge, bring your own beer, and uh, well, it's Poetry Night. And it looks like he was having a little bit of long neck Bukowski's as he was uh, going to bed. Here's his little cap stash. And it looks like somebody had a, uh, a premature evacuation. Hmm. Yeah, dang. Premature ejection from... Probably a 10 millimeter. <laughs> Are we really going to ask him the size of his <clears throat> gun? Okay, anyway. So here we've got his cooking station. And I just, I love using this, this ironing board as a cooking station. Uh, and he's got sandbags to hold it in place. And he's got a supply of food down there. And this is his stove. He basically, he's got his lighter there and he basically ignites the, the fumigus, which is uh, burns hotter yet more efficiently than the regular blow torches, so they're kind of coveted by a lot of people. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, perfect height for heating up whatever you want, either in your pot or you take the coffee pot and you place it on here. Yeah, he's got a strainer and additional food up there and another pot for cooking larger amounts of food, and this this, well, this is where the food ends up. But, uh, yeah, he's got himself uh, some toilet paper, and uh, they do actually sit on that toilet, and they fit. And, 
it's just, it's, it's a, I just love that. I, I thought, well, you know, I've got this, this open, empty fridge. I should be able to make like a little private bathroom. And I was. And, uh, you know, if he wants to, he can just flip up the lid and stand here and have a nice view. Although he should be looking down to see where he's aiming, but hey, he's single. It's his own toilet. He can do whatever he wants and uh, enjoy the view while aiming. And uh, yeah, he's got some food here waiting for him. Uh, Codsworth was in here earlier, so I'm thinking that Codsworth probably cooked it for him. And there's a lad's life waiting to be read. Let's see if we can, can we, can we get a good look at it? So yeah, how to make a shelter, how to track a mountain lion, how to build a birch bark container. And uh, yeah, so he's kind of brushing up on that and he's got himself a mole rat head. They kind of come around here. Oh, and as you can see, he's got uh, chain link all around his windows to protect him from the bloat flies and the blood bugs that are in this neighborhood. And uh, yeah, he's got some curtains. Give him a little more privacy. And uh, head out here. And just walk up here. There's an ammo crate, but it's also got some additional supplies in there uh, to, to maintain the triple barreled death threat up there. And yeah, this is Glenn. Glenn was actually one of the first people to show up here. Um, actually, even before the beacon was set up, he was uh, walking past and saw uh, Samantha here was trying to deal with the mole rats. And that was actually where he got, uh, he bagged one of them and he wanted to, uh, well, he wanted to keep a trophy of his prowess. And of course, you know, Samantha was like, hey, awesome, you do you. You killed it, you keep it if you want it. Uh, and over here, uh, looks like I kept my light on. We've got ourselves some, uh, let's see. Oh, looks like we've got some turbo. Uh, let's see, what is this? Um, come on, back up, back up. There we go. Okay, future weapons today. Oh, right. He's probably reading this because, well, he's got uh, one of the Minutemen uh, laser muskets that Samantha here has upgraded immensely. Um, so we've got ourselves some cat eye, uh, a super stim pack, doctor's bag, Ah, he's got himself some Hydra in case uh, he takes some limb damage and he's just got to be able to fix it right then and there. Because, you know, when the super mutants come here and attack, you can't always just grab the doctor's bag and start doing stuff. Not use, you just, you hit that Hydra and, uh, yeah, it, it'll take care of your, your injured limbs very quickly. And, uh... Yeah, so how are things going? I just need straight gear with you. It's okay. Yeah, just, okay. Thought he might have a few more things he'd want like to say. But yeah, he's uh, pretty stocked up here. He's got himself some purified water. He's got some cuffs just in case he needs to uh, restrain somebody who's coming up here who shouldn't be up here. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, uh, Samantha's not a huge fan that he's using the, uh, the turbo. But hey, whatever makes makes him even more effective in defending the uh, the, the settlement, the better. So yeah, so this is his place, his home, um, and his place of work. And uh, I'm really proud with how this place came together. So. I really hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope that you will join me again for another tour. And uh, remember, be excellent to each other and to yourself. 
and party on. Thank you again for joining me. Have a great one. Bye.